Hey everyone, um, <laughs> I love my mantle. I love it. Actually, I don't have the lights in the back. I only have the lights at the bottom because I'm using the other light for um, charging my phone. Anyway, um, it's not officially Christmas in my house until the big tree is up. The big tree is super, super important um, to me and to the rest of the family. Uh, we absolutely love our tree. It's for those of you who are brand new, welcome. My big tree is a little bit different than the traditional Christmas tree. There's no green, red, um, Santa stuff related. My big tree has a theme. The theme is a thousand and one night or Arabian nights. So it's all peacocks and um, genie and Sherazad and Aladdin, the magic carpet, um, onion, <laughs> feathers, peacocks, um, animals, I have all sorts of wild animals, there's uh, elephants and camels, uh, fish, there's a mermaid, um, there used to be a treasure chest which I cannot find anymore that broke when the tree fell down, the original tree. A couple of years ago, I think three or four years ago, Scott and I um, made a big spurge and purchase uh, what seemed to us at the time <laughs> the most expensive tree in the world but actually is not because I found trees uh, on oh, what's the name of it um, there's a company out there I forgot the name uh, the uh, grand something forgot the name but anyway um, their tree is like a thousand bucks uh, this one was four hundred dollars at Costco but the great thing about it is that it's a molded tree. It's an artificial tree, but instead of being like the one for the Ratko, where it's like the tied, um, well, you can't even see them here. Like it's like a, a plastic, a flexible thing. It's a feel real tree, that's what it is. Um, and the lights are inserted inside so you don't have wires at all. All the connections happen in the middle of the tree, in the trunk. So it's a very well made tree it's nine foot tall i actually had to cut about two inches from the top uh when we set it up the first time because my ceiling is slightly under nine foot it obviously it's eight ten or something like that so it does touch the ceiling um which stops me from being able to put a tree topper but i do all the things with the topper and this is what i'm going to do this year because I bought extra feathers, I'm gonna add feathers um, to the top as a crown, um, which I've done in the past, but it's gonna be like really, really full this year. I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, it's one of those things that I really enjoy doing is trimming the tree every year. Sometimes will really helps, sometimes it doesn't. He helped me for the Ratko tree again this year. Today he cannot help me because he has a phys uh, a physics quiz or exam or whatever that is uh, on Monday and he's currently in his bedroom crunching. So I will be doing the tree by myself and it's all right, let's get started. So every year there's always the question as to where am I going to put the tree this year? Uh, well, obviously I can put it over there like I did last year because I have that new piece of furniture. So it's going to go back on this side. And this thing is ginormous. It's really heavy. You need, really you need two people to move it. But Okay, I'm not going to let it drop. There we go. And you can tell how many years you've had your trees by the number. <laughs> rings of tape and um, duct tape on the box. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four. Four years. <laughs> the good thing about it is that it comes in, I think it's four pieces, four or five pieces. So it's super easy to uh, put together and then once you click them they just fall down on their own you don't have to mess around with it okay here's the skirt and every year i say i'm gonna buy a new skirt it's our old skirt we've had it for close to 20 years um okay so here's one part two 
Oh, it comes in five. Okay. All right. That's the bottom part. And here's the top. Okay. So you see what I mean? It's all molded. So the lights are in it, but you don't see any wire. Okay, so the tree's gonna go here. And as I mentioned in the um, other video that I did with the uh, um, Rapco tree, this one actually, um, I would have to unclick it. But anyway, this stand is super, super stable. But on top of that, when you put it in the cross section, it clicks. So it doesn't uh, unfolds itself, which is great. That means that the tree is not going to um, fall like my old one did. So let me put the bottom part on it. The sheep, you're gonna have to move. settings because I see that some of the lights are on. Okay, this is the uh, pulsating one. Me. Well, I actually do like it. Okay, this is the uh, multicolor one. Do I want to do that this year? I don't know. Here's the multicolor pulsating. And then this is the uh, switch between the two. I don't like that. And then we have this one that is the uh, gradient between the two colors. It's actually a little bit better. Let me do that this year, I don't know. That's the long pulsation. Okay, and that's off. I'm just gonna keep it on. I don't need all the uh, other stuff. And you know, on Instagram the other day, somebody mentioned that they look forward to watching me decorate my trees every year, even though it's the same. <laughs> it's the same, but it's different. That's what they said. Um, in this box, that's not coming on now, is all the bubbles and the glass ornaments. And these were made for me by Debbie and they are gorgeous. And she's the same lady. I say the same story every year. It's the same lady who did the little houses the 12 uh, days of Christmas. And then here's an empty bag. In here are all my feathers um, and the peacocks and all of the flowers. Now the flowers They do take some time oh. because every single one of them has to be reopened individually like this and they position just so so that they dangle just ever so slightly off the tree to give it a little bit more fullness and dynamic I tried to get the tree to have a lot of ornaments popping out of the uh, outside. So since I'm doing the gold ones, might as well finish those. So I'm going to start with the gold, whatever those are, they look like magnolias to me. And they have to be just right. Everybody does whatever they want with the tree, okay? I'm not telling you how to do your tree, none of that. But I can tell you what I do. This is a, uh, a flower that clearly needs to be seen a little bit more from the above. If I have this flower like this, you, you're just gonna see the bottom part. You're not gonna appreciate the beauty of it. So clearly these I have to put um, a little bit more down. So what I do is find a branch 
like this one that is a full straight thing and I'm going to insert this in here and weave it through the other branches and because it's a molded tree they're going to hold it in place for me so here's one so I'll hang um, on the outside and because it's a little bit below I get to see the entire flower and what I'm going to do this year is turn off the tree for the whole decor because what happens is that it's a different um, because of the LED you guys only see like a flashing kind of like a wave and it's very ugly so this year I won't really showcase everything I'm going to do them uh, without the lights on and then I'll turn the lights back on once I'm done decorating Oh, Houston, we got a problem. I can't find the other ones in gold. So I'm going to unpack everything until I find them. Here are the uh, silk ones. These are the matching one in purple. <clears throat> oh, here's one. Here's two and three. Okay, got them. Oof. And these are the dangles. I love those. Those are great. These give so much volume. Love those. Okay. All right, we're back in business. one that's damaged I usually put it in the back now these don't have a direction they're pretty much flat so these I can put anywhere what are they like green poinsettias Are some of my favorite. Um, I don't know what kind of flower they are but I know that they're silk and they have those pistils, pistils, whatever you call it, coming out. So when you look at them from the side they do have stuff dangling. So I'm going to give them the right shape going down Open this a little bit more. I know that one of them is broken. So these are all the flowers and those danglers and I am ready to start the feathers. So for feathers, there's a whole bunch. I have two, I call them birds of paradise, they are um, from Pier 1 in Port years ago. I have these, they are like picks and same thing, I put them on the outside of the tree. Here's another one. So here's, that's just, that was sent to me last year actually. 
these are peacock uh, feathers and here's a purple peacock here's another bird of paradise and one of those peacocks another one of these these that was sent to me also last year oh they're gorgeous this one look at these this one's one of my favorite and the matching green one here's the other feathers this this one look at this with the marabou feathers and this little this little guy here found its way okay feathers here we go it's one of my favorite if not my favorite i'm gonna put it uh, front and center All the feathers are in so this time around I put the birds of paradise those little curved one inside the tree instead of the top because I want to do something different for the top this year um, oop, losing my light um, and you see I'm positioning the birds so that they look like they literally hanging from the branches like this one and the one on top over there, I kid you not, I saw a tree, a peacock tree, where they had like a real, well, a real. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was a, uh, um, what do you call it, taxidermied or just a fake peacock. They had the peacock on the tree all the way on top and it, all the feathers would just go down the tree like this. Oh my God. <laughs> I could make one, but it would take me quite some time. I would have to think ahead which is not my style. Okay, bubbles. So these are big and I like to put them a little bit on the inside. Move things around a bit like this, see? dimension in and out. Debbie, I gotta tell you, I don't know where you got this fabric, but it's stunning. I love it. I got them at Macy's on sale, post-Christmas sale, years ago. I think I have two of those. And since they're my favorite, I gotta make sure they get, again, front and center. So, we're gonna place you right here. These are major reflectors. So what I do is that I place them inside because I have lights on the inside. And they reflect that light, multiplying it. So they look hidden, but what they do is that they reflect the light. So once everything is lit, you actually get to see them. Even though when the tree is not turned on, they kind of disappear on the inside. Here's another favorite. I used to have two, one broke. You know, <laughs> I forgot I had this one. That's another one that I got in obviously 2015 at Macy's. Uh, 
and I really like this one. So again, front and center. All right, so quick update. This is where I'm at, and I'm halfway through the. Uh, oh, losing the light. I'm halfway through <laughs> the. Uh, bubbles and ornaments. So what I'm going to do since I'm losing light, I'm going to turn on the uh, ceiling light and probably have to do a colored balance. So if it turns yellow, it's because it didn't work. I don't mind the mess because, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of it, but I just want to show you how they kind of match and go together. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, so I have all of the ornaments except the ones that are uh, strictly dedicated to A Thousand and One Night. So we have Aladdin, the Genie, Jasmine, um, the Sea King, uh, that's uh, Alibaba, this is uh, Sherazad, the uh, Market Flute Player, I have Sherazad, or um, I have another uh, Jasmine on the... Um, carpet. Here's another jasmine. I have one of the, uh, was it 12 um, mermaids? And then we got Simbab. So I gotta place them. I have pretty much everything. Um, but now I have the fillers you see on the chair. Um, the, these balls and bubbles, whatever you want to call them, I don't even think the uh, yeah, the plastic. So those I'm going to use as fillers whenever there's a hole. This room to help me out. Thank you. Oh, these are the short ones. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. And I'm done. Here's the 2022 Christmas tree. I didn't uh, turn the lights on yet. I will, and I will give you close-ups. I want to show you what I did on the top here. Hopefully you can see. Okay, so here's what I did on the top. All right, let me turn it on and do a whole bunch of close-ups, and then I'll say goodbye.
I'm exhausted uh, as expected. This was a lot. It took four and a half hours. <laughs> it was a lot, but I enjoyed every bit of it. I mean, I broke a good sweat. Um, these are cute too. These were super cheap. They were like a dollar ninety nine or something um, at at home. Anyway, I'm probably gonna tweak it here and there, um, but I just wanted to show you the Christmas tree. If you are on Patreon, you're watching this um, in early access, probably two weeks ahead, and that would be it. Man, I'm excited about Christmas this year. All right, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. YouTube folks, um, subscribe right here in the corner. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge. Etsy shops, I have two. My Great Challenge gift for channel merch and Frenchie and Tabby for vintage finds. And then if you want to be on Patreon to get stuff like that on ex in exclusivity or in early access, um, check me out at patreon.com slash My Great Challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.